All right, so we are here with HB on the Kingdom Tour, and we're gonna give you a rig rundown of what he's playing. HB. What's up, y'all? This is my kit, this is its world. This is also my drum tech, Drizzy. Nice. So, when it comes to all of this stuff, um, in the initial rehearsals, we kind of took you know some time to make sure I felt comfortable with where everything was. This is obviously a bigger set than what I typically play with Maverick, but for this tour, it needed it for all of the music and embellishments. So, first of all, Franklin drums. Shout out to Grady, Tim, Will, those are my dudes. So, this is a 14 by 14 maple poplar on this, on this one. Just a coated Emperor, uh, Root TQ, shout out to those guys. Um, I love these, these are like a cloth O-ring. So I just love how they sound, and yeah, they're great. Um, uh, right above it are my Roland drum pads. I have a BT1. I can't remember what are these called. The the PD8s. Two of those guys. I'm running TM6. I had an SPD pad, but I hated just how it was set up, and I don't really like the SPD um, just for my personal use. Like I'd rather have a module with all of my sounds on it and I can kind of throw my triggers and pads wherever I would like them. So um, I have two right here. This guy, uh, I have a trigger on my snare. I have a trigger on my kick drum and then I have the KT-10 uh, foot pedal. And then I have another BT-1 right over here. So that's all of my electronic stuff. Um, we'll go back to the shells now. This is a copper 14 by seven. This is a 12 by three or 12 by four. This is a aluminum 14 by five. And this snare, um, I got Grady to essentially make me kind of a clone of a, a Ludwig Acrylite. Um, I have two of those, it's a 63 and a 66. And I just really love how they sound. Um, you can kind of crank them up. You can kind of tune them to like a mid tuning and they sound really sweet So for Mav stuff, I really love it That's what I needed and they made it and it sounds really insane. This thing on the side of it is called the X click um, And it's by Groove X. Those guys are incredible. They sent me out a few I gave some to Terry who's on the other kit. Uh, he's Kirk Strummer insane If you don't know who he, who he is go look him up. So here I have a 10 by 7 maple poplar rack tom. I have a 12 by 8 maple poplar rack tom. And I have a 16 by 15 maple poplar floor tom. These two toms are actually all maple. Um, I have the two, the 10 and the 12 that matches the 16 and maple poplar, but I switched them out because of the bigger rooms, I wanted it to cut more and not be as warm, um, which is that vintage sound. The kick is a 22 by 14 maple poplar and the 18 kick to the right is a 18 by 14. I'm pretty sure it's maple poplar. If it's not, then it's just maple. But I have like kind of a, like a, almost like a a la carte kit where I can do a bunch of everything with. I got a 22 kick, 18 kick, 10 tom, 12 tom, 14 tom, 16 tom. This kit right here, these three toms in this kick, um, the guys made me that kit for the Elevation Maverick record, uh, Old Church Basement, which we won a Grammy for. So that's pretty dope. And I'm glad that I can take it out and tour with it. These are 16 light hats, traditional. Istanbul it got everywhere. I love it, it's part of my sound, it's who I am. Um, this guy is the clap stat. Um, Trevor Lawrence is the guy who innovated this with Istanbul. And it's one of the dopest things. I use it a lot with all the math stuff. And I think people who follow me, they know this about me. Um, it's kind of an essential, no matter what I'm playing, what I'm doing, I'll have this with me. This is a 20 dry dark crash. It's like one of my favorite symbols. I love it. It's like second to the clap stack is this line. I actually have this whole line. I have the 17 hats, which are over there. I'll get to it in a minute. I have the splash. I have the 22, which is over there. I have a rod. I have everything that this line um, offers. So 
This is the 20 coming over here to my main crash. It's a 20 power crash. It gives me what I need and more. At first, I thought the brilliant finish would be too bright, but it's actually not because of how this outer rim is laid. Um, so it's pretty dope, I love that. This is the 30th anniversary ride in a 22. Super warm, um, super washy. It's like hand hammered in insane ways and it just sounds really, really good. Great bell tone. I skipped this, so I'm gonna come back to it. I typically never use a splash cymbal, but because of some of the arrangements that we're doing on this run, um, this was an added addition and I think it fits well. Um, I love it. This is the part of that exists dry dark line. It's super dry, like almost has no sustain to it, but it's great. Here are my other hats. These are the 17 dry dark high hats and they sound insane. Um, so this is a remote hi-hat. It's to the right of my hi-hat, so I just use that, that, you know. But here, you can actually hear them for a little bit, so. So I have like a little tambourine on top. Um, but yeah, I love this for certain songs. I need a, a bigger sound, um, which is crazy because these are 17 and these are 16. There's not really that big of a difference, but when you hear them sonically, they sound completely polar opposite. Um, this is a 19 power crash, which is mimicking my 20 over here. It's just smaller, and I think this weight is a bit thicker, so um, it gives me a little bit more body, but it allows me to get in and out because it's a 19 and not a 20, not as big. This is a new addition for this tour. It is a 22 dry dark crash with a 18 ion exists on top of it. And it's this like crazy trashy accent symbol. So that's what it sounds like. It's, it's, it's almost like thunder in a way. So um, hopefully after I release some videos, you'll see exactly what I mean by this. Like in big moments where I'm about to build or hit an accent going into like the next phrase, like this is giving me all that I need um, and more because I have this here and I have this. So yeah, that's kind of a bit of everything. DW9000 for my kick pedal. I have the Porter and Davies BC2 for my butt kicker so I can fill everything. One of the biggest parts of this whole thing is I'm now using a rack. So um, this rack is the Gibraltar Stealth Rack. And in rehearsals, and I'll actually let Drizzy, Drizzy come into this, please. So I'm gonna let Drizzy kind of explain how we got this side to happen because first I only had the left and the right, um, but then I had extra pieces and he actually made this side work. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let Drizzy take it away so you can. What's up everybody, happy to be here. Um, so as my man HB said, he, he had been using the rack already, but we wanted to incorporate some more electronics. And like you said, we had a lot more going on on the left side. So what we did was we just took some more of his bars and kept everything low profile. And I just hooked it onto what was already there. And then we just added whatever he needed. And so um, when, when you guys actually hear Naomi's uh, new record, Not Ready, what we actually did was in rehearsal, we detached this one side and just had an electronic acoustic kick and he was able to right there record her record and the video just with that little section. So the rack allows us to break it down in multiple ways so it doesn't have to just be used as a you know, monstrosity of a big old rack. And I love it because it's so low profile, you don't have all of this extra bars and bling all in the way. So yeah, it worked out pretty good and HB is very happy with it. Drizzy's my guy. I mean, whatever I need, he's just always there and super quick and super attentive and I think if you know if you guys are looking for a tech that's what you want in someone that you know someone who's gonna be there dependable super attentive and can just do what you need and sometimes I don't even, like he'll do stuff and I'm not even thinking about it. like some shows he'll have a fan leaned up against my monitor and I'm like why am I feeling so good tonight oh it's because I have a fan that Drizzy set up or snacks or water or whatever so I'm just appreciative of him and our relationship on this tour because I wouldn't want to do it without him so yeah this is my kit man I love it it's my world forgot to talk about this guy this is my MD talk back and that's the foot switch 
But other than that, man, that's it. Thank y'all for having me. Appreciate you. Later.